Well, it went down to the uh, final game, and then it went down to the final half, and then it went down to the uh, final quarter, down to the final 48 seconds. And when it went down, so did the Dolphins, and Miami's hopes for a second straight playoff berth. Yeah, right, and uh, you know, the way we play, we don't deserve to be in a playoff, so the Jets won, they deserve to be in it. But you can't blame it all on Dan. He looked like the Marino of old, leading Miami 70 yards in the dying moments of the fourth quarter and hitting Farrell Edmonds for what could have been the winning score on fourth and goal with 44 seconds left. But Miami's prevent defense only prevented them from winning. Kenny O'Brien used the final 38 ticks to drive the Jets in position for Raul Alegre's game-tying field goal. It went to overtime, tied at 20, and after the Dolphins couldn't score, the Jets marched right back down the field and set up Alegre again. Until the call came from the Jets last week, Allegri was working on his master's degree. Only well, he gets straight A's for his three field goals, while the Dolphin defense will be staring at a big red F on the report card until next season. The 23-20 final leaves both teams at 8-8. Eight eight. Because they beat Miami twice this year, the Jets are in the playoffs, and the Dolphins are on the outside looking in. And that's the story of our season coming up short. It feels bad. You know, I'm not going to sit up and um, talk about it and try to figure out why this happened, why. Nothing I can say or do gonna bring us, bring us, get us in the playoffs or bring that game back. We had 37 seconds and we couldn't stop them. End up going in overtime, which the game never should have went in overtime. It's gonna hurt for a little while because uh, we got a long time to think about it. But we gotta, you know, regroup and uh, make some decisions about what we have to do to get into the playoffs next year. This game had a little of everything that made up the Dolphins 1991 season. Injuries, last second excitement, and ultimately coming up short again. And so for the fifth time in the last six years, Miami's playoff stockings are as empty as Joe Robbie Stadium is right now. Hey, wait till 92. In Miami, Ken Tomash, Wink Sports.